The 60s are back. Formed in New York City, the American rock band The Velvet Underground is regarded as one of the most influential bands in rock history. Its foundations were laid late in 1964 when Lou Reed met John Cale, a Welshman who'd moved to the United States to study classical music. Together they formed a band, which was later joined by Sterling Morrison and Angus MacLazie. The quartet was first called The Primitives, then The Warlocks, then The Falling Spikes, until a friend of Cale's presented them with a contemporary mass-market paperback by Michael Lee about the secret sexual subculture of the early 1960s. The group liked the book's underground cinema evoking title, making The Velvet Underground the band's new name in November 1965. Due to numerous disputes, MacLazie was soon replaced by Maureen Mo Tucker. The drummer, with an unconventional playing style of simple yet exotic rhythms, would play on most of the band's recordings and sing co-lead vocals on three Velvet Underground songs. In 1966, pop artist Andy Warhol became the band's manager and producer. Warhol's reputation helped them gain a higher profile, and they served as the house band at Warhol's art collective known as The Factory and his traveling multimedia show, The Exploding Plastic Inevitable. In 1967, they released their first album, The Velvet Underground, and Nico with German singer and model Nico. The album received critical indifference and poor sales, but has since become critically acclaimed, with Rolling Stone calling it the most prophetic rock album ever made. In the following years, the band released three more albums, White Light, White Heat in 1968, The Velvet Underground in 1969, and Loaded in 1970, with Doug Yule replacing Kale for the final two. By 1973, the short life of Velvet Underground came to its end. With no one performing up to the expectations of record labels and Reed, the band's leader, and under pressure from their tour manager Steve Sesnick, the band members parted ways, focusing rather on their solo work. A full reunion of the band came in early 1990. In 1993, the Reed, Kale, Tucker, Morrison lineup played a series of well-received shows and released a live album from the tour named Live 1913. In 1995, Morrison died. The remaining three members' last performances was at their Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction in 1996. Velvet Underground changed the course of music history. With the integration of rock and the avant-garde and their exploration of provocative subject matters and nihilistic attitudes, they have broken new territory and proved influential in the development of punk rock and and new wave music. In 2004, Rolling Stone ranked the band number 19 on its list of the 100 greatest artists of all time. The same magazine included their albums in the list of the 500 greatest albums of all time. In 2017, a study of All Music's catalog indicated the Velvet Underground as the fifth most frequently cited artist influence in its database. The band was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1996 by Patti Smith. What's your favorite Velvet Underground song?